my name is Jonathan Weiss, and um, this, this loft is the showroom for my company, which is Oswald's Mill Audio, and we make uh, a complete range of uh, very special audio equipment. Um, it's really bespoke audio equipment. It's uh, extremely high efficiency loudspeakers that, that use horns, a kind of horn that no one else uses in the hi-fi world today. In fact, it hasn't been used for more than 50 years, called a conical horn. It's kind of like uh, a car that goes 800 miles an hour. And because it goes so fast, you'll never actually be able to push it to its limits. Unlike um, really the rest of, of high high end audio today, uh, what inspired us to start making this equipment was was my own personal knowledge of equipment that was made actually 70 years ago. The first generation of, of motion picture equipment in the 1920s and 1930s. You got to remember, there was no space program. There was no NASA back then. Computers didn't exist. There was no television. And the uh, reproduction of sound publicly, whether uh, and privately, whether it be radios, um, records, and then movies, was a huge deal. I think that people have a, have a, a well-deserved, a diluted, you know, uh, notion that technology is is one continuous evolution of improvement, and um, the uh, everything becomes cheaper and better. So when it comes to sound, it's very hard to communicate to people that in fact sound has not been improved, but in fact have, have been on a, a very long decline. For, for decades, actually, since, um, since tubes stopped being used and transistors took over, uh, since digital replaced vinyl LPs and analog uh, reproduction. When you think about uh, the way you hear sound reproduction in your earbuds on an MP3, where up to 80% of the, the music is already compressed away, it's gone. It'll never come back. So you're listening to a vestige of what the music once was. Most people, I would say almost all people, have never ever heard really beautifully reproduced sound in their entire lives. It's tragic, but it's true. Where would you? When you have these, these much larger uh, systems, the result is actually an aesthetic experience that is yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing. 